Have you explained what virtual shadow maps are? Most of the explanations I've found seem to be for people already making games in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, it seems like it's nanite, but for shadows. Is there anything markedly different between VSMs and other shadow techniques in terms of the end result seen by the player? Uh, good uh, uh, reason to come up with a quick explainer there, Alex, I think. Yeah, so you can think of them as if you require recall what mega textures was like back in the day where it essentially you'd split up a, a a texture into many pages and you load in the relevant ones of a certain resolution based upon uh, the screen space size of you know relevant texture from your position and <clears throat> Uh, that would save on memory because instead of loading in a whole texture, you're loading up a smaller part of it and it's still going to look high res enough because um, it's only occupying a certain percentage of the screen. And as the closer you get, the more larger pages, etc., of that specific texture are loaded in. You're dramatically decreasing the amount of uh, texture memory you need to show high quality textures. Nanite follows a similar path, but it's on focusing on geometry for virtual shadow maps it's a similar path but it's, it's the shadow map resolution so you can just imagine those pages as being like bits of a shadow map and in uh, vsm's case so that would give you like a super if you just did it as is in the way like vsm's it's virtualized so that means you're just getting really per pixel perfect shadows on most things if you did that you just get really hard shadows everywhere. So they came up with another technique on top of it. The Oliver and the past is called, I think like uh, shadow map, map tracing. Rate, ray tracing, where, SMRT. Yeah, SMRT, shadow map rate tracing or something like that. And uh, basically you can imagine it as like a filter. Uh, you can, that's what, it's not actually filter, but you can imagine <laughs> it as a filter uh, like uh, that makes it so that Shadows that have uh, an occluder close to them have a more diffuse look. So, woo, they get further away, uh, they, they get more diffuse. And as the closer uh, or the, the less parallax there is between the two objects, the uh, shadow starts to get sharper. And this mimics the effect in real life where um, the base of an object that is shadowed near a casting light will be sharp. And then further away, it'll get more diffuse. Games have done that in the past with a variety of other filters. Uh, but here, from VSM's perspective, it's actually a bit more accurate than those in the past and doesn't have issues uh, since it isn't done as like just a straight filter. It doesn't have issues when there's overlap. It actually looks quite good when there's moments of overlap in VSM uh, because it is doing some form of tracing there. Uh, and this is what makes VSMs so unique uh, I don't think we've seen anything as similar across the variety of games we've looked at so far. It seems to be an Unreal Engine thing at the most part. And uh, it does give you, at least for, um, I would say for Sun Shadows very specifically, like uh, quality that rivals a lot of ray tracing. But as soon as you get into like larger, more complex uh local light shapes like here surrounding me there's a ring light there's soft boxes etc like as soon as you get into the, the area light phenomena where the light has different shapes to it different sizes it uh maybe covers 360 degrees that's when vsm starts to break down both in quality and performance because um well if you think about it it can't match the shape of the light necessarily with a shadow map and also uh, the the diffusion of the shadow may be so great that it becomes incredibly noisy uh, or it becomes so inefficient to render that you should start using things like ray tracing to do the same effect, mm -hmm. triangle ray tracing. So uh, it's, it's, it can rival, I would say, for things like sun shadows. It's a great, it's a great alternative. But for other light types, you need something else maybe. And that's actually why uh, Epic is making mega lights because they wanted to cover different light types and many lights. Uh, VSM doesn't scale to many lights like uh, ray tracing does. So to go back to Cottonbird's question, 
anything markedly different between uh, other VSMs and other shadow techniques in terms of the end result seen by the player? Oh, I guess totally. cascaded shadow maps are just basically a thing of the past, oh. really. Yeah, like uh, the cascade, th there technically is still like a cascade line in a VSM, I guess, but it's just so much more fine grain that you don't see it. Like that's one of the great parts about uh, ray trace shadows and VSMs at least is that you just don't tend to see that big cascade line when you walk forward in a game world. And I think that's one, of, I love it. It's another getting rid of like a really harsh LOD behavior that we've seen in games for like 20 years and it's gone.